dplyr provides the rename function to easily rename the columns of a data frame. And the syntax within the rename function is the new name of the column equals the old name of the column. And so in the example below, we're going to rename two columns of the penguins data frame with shorter, simpler names. However, you may be wondering why in the world you would use the rename function that dplyr provides when you can rename columns of a data frame using the base R syntax. So I just want to briefly show you the advantages of using dplyr's approach as opposed to base R. So let's say I wanted to rename bill underscore length underscore mm with the name bill and flipper underscore length underscore mm with the name flipper. So most likely the way that I would do this would be to first use the names function on penguins to figure out what the column names of the data frame are. And in this case, we see that bill underscore length underscore mm is the third variable where flipper underscore length underscore mm is the fifth variable. So then I would take the names of penguins. I would subset the third and fifth elements of the names of the penguins. And then I would assign it two new names, in this case, Bill and Flipper. And so this actually would work to change the names of Bill length and Flipper length to Bill and Flipper respectively. However, it gets substantially easier using the rename function, at least in my opinion. So the rename function, similar to other dplyr verbs, first takes the data frame you want to manipulate, in this case, penguins, and then you simply indicate the variables that you want to change in the form new variable name equals old variable name. So in our particular example, we have bill equals bill underscore length underscore mm and flipper equals flipper underscore length underscore mm. And when we look below, we see that in fact, the name of the bill length column has been renamed bill and the name of the flipper length column has been renamed flipper. Similar to previous examples, we can also use the pipe operator to accomplish the same thing. We take the penguin data frame, we use the pipe operator to pipe it into the rename function. And since implicitly, the first argument is the data frame coming from the pipe operator. We simply need to indicate the variables that we want to change. In this case, we want to change the name of bill underscore length underscore mm to bill and flipper underscore length underscore mm to flipper. And we get the same result that we had before. So the rename function is very convenient for renaming columns of a data frame. And in contrast to the base R syntax, it's highly compatible with the pipe operator to string together operations in the tidiverse.